And welcome. This is Mary Ellen McGonigal with Your Daily Five. I'd like to begin with a bit of brief background as to who I am. I'm the founder of MEM Investment Research. I did for 20, uh, 15 years was with William O'Neill and Company. During that time, I worked with top portfolio managers and analysts advising them on stock selection. And as many of you may know, O'Neill is the founder of IBD. And it's all about growth stocks and getting in front of these fast movers. And I'm pointing that out because today I am going to be sharing with you the what's called base breakout and really just how powerful that is. In fact, from O'Neill's study of the markets going back many, many cycles, over 100 years, many of your leading stocks that go on to great gains, they do so in the beginning by emerging out of a powerful base pattern. So this is what these leading stocks emerge from. And then also depending on your outlook, your trading style, whether you're longer term or shorter term, is going to tell how you can respond during this base building period. We're going to get into that. And then also there's one key characteristic that you want to be on the lookout for when your stock emerges from this base. So let's get started. I'm going to share a couple of examples with you. This is West Pharmaceuticals. It's one of the winning stocks from my MEM Edge report. And what I wanted to point out to you here is you're going to see this quite a bit with this bear market action here into the lows in March. And you want to identify these stocks breaking out of these bases. A base is when a stock hits a new high and as such comes back to that prior high and breaks out to a new high. That is your base breakout. You one characteristic that I mentioned you want to be on the lookout for is volume. Hard to tell here, but this was a very nice pickup on volume on this base breakout. The other characteristic in this case is the stock had just uh, reported very strong earnings. So a base breakout on an earnings report, in fact, can be very strong. So we did see the stock. It's been a bit of a volatile period here, certainly of late in the markets, but the stock did break out and advance very significantly. Uh, we're looking at about a 30% advance here. And oftentimes, a stock will have a secondary base building period where it digests. Now, in reality, the stock is digesting the advance from 130 up to 215. So this is the advance that this period here is what I call digesting, building yet another base from which this stock, WST, is now in the process of emerging from. Let's move on. Another quick example here is NVIDIA a big winner in the semiconductor space. Another type of base formation that is common is called a cup with a handle. And this is this, uh, we can see NVIDIA hit this new high back here in February, formed the right side of the base. And you need this handle formation to occur in at least the upper half of this base building formation. The stock then emerges from this handle portion of the base, and it does so on big volume. This has been another big winner for the MEM Edge report. We were able to get uh, subscribers in back here, and the stock is continuing to advance out of that cup with handle base. So uh, actually, we can take a look at one last example. This is Etsy, another winner for us. But again, you're looking at a period where the stock is consolidating. It's hitting the reset button and forming the space pattern from which it then emerges on significant volume and continuing to advance. Now I'm going to share with you current stocks that are poised to break out of bases. This is a daily chart. We're looking at Sprouts. Farmers Market, SFM, and it is, of course, a uh, supermarket, and we can see that the stock back here, it did report very strong earnings. The company came in with numbers that were 24% above estimates, a nice advance here, and naturally from that, you will have a period 
of consolidation and base building. So we currently are in the process. The stock is about a point away from breaking up above this prior high. So a break above 27 on volume would be very bullish and indicate another leg up for SFM. Another current example here is Marvel Technology, MRVL. This is a significant name in semiconductor stocks. And again, take a look at this big advance here from the March lows up here into the beginning of June. The stock is poised to break out of a five week base period. So a break up above this $37 on volume would in fact in indicate another leg up for Marvell. And a lot of times it's helpful to just take a quick peek at the industry group that the stock is a part of. Marvell is a semiconductor stock. So this is your ETF for semis, real big winner. We've been all over that at MEM Investment Research. Uh, getting you in front of these really out pacers. So if your stock is part of a strong group, that's really going to even give more odds that that base breakout will in fact work. Uh, Boston Beer, S-A-M, a lot of people in lockdown with uh, restaurants and bars closed. We have seen a pickup here in some of these uh, beverage providers and Boston Beer is one of them. We can see that the stock really was an early winner here out of this bear market, had a very significant advance. And again, we're in a period here where the stock is consolidating, building that base where it hits a new high, pulls back as it breaks back out above that prior high. If we see nice volume, SAM very well could be up uh, advancing toward another leg up. We can also see this MACD, if this black line comes up through the red, it does appear to be doing so now. Another bullish indication that this uh, consolidation period is reversing and the stocks easily could head higher. And another example here is Dexcom. These guys are medical uh, product provider for diabetes, another big winner out of this bear market phase. And the stock is now poised to break out of an even longer base. This is about a two month base. The longer your base building period, historical precedent will tell you that your advance out of that base will in fact be longer. We can see also we have the same dynamics with this MACD poised to turn positive here with a positive RSI. So keep your eye out on DXCM, a break above that 440 would be quite bullish if we see that on volume. And that's it for today. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.